Good morning vlog. Today is another excursion day. Today we are going to a monkey sanctuary and to Kintampo waterfalls. So I'm really excited. Please ignore the fact that my lips are dry. So we've just stopped off to get some bananas for the monkey sanctuary because how are we going to go? to see some monkeys about some bananas they will literally like eat so yeah we stopped up to get some bananas what is so? Where we made you be? Who's black? So we are currently leaving the monkey sanctuary. It was really cute, not gonna lie. Like, the monkeys are very interesting and the history is very interesting. Um, so yeah, now we're going to the waterfall. Hey vlog, so um, we have reached a rest stop. We're literally in Kim Tampo now, so we're about to go to the waterfall. It's a bit difficult for you lot to see me. Obviously COVID vibes, but this is the beginning. This is the main area. There's a washroom to the left. And then we're gonna start the tour now. There are three different waterfalls. Um, the first one is medium size. The second one is the smallest. And the third one is the largest one. So I'm gonna film all of them, but yeah, it should be good vibes. Excursions in Ghana are all in the forest. Shout out my people preserving nature. Period. So that one, the first one was a medium sized one. By the way, I'm using my phone because my camera's in the car. Yeah, that was a medium sized one. So now we're gonna go to a small one. Let's go. Okay, so you can choose. So there's a canopy walk, but you don't have to take the canopy walk. You can take the stairs if you want. Yo, getting up, back up the stairs. It's like, um, you guys ever taken the stairs at Covent Garden Station? <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> but it's 153 steps out yeah. and 173 steps in. But in is going down, so you don't feel it. Who told you to do a press ups competition, though? Exactly. Yeah. Men just be menning. Yep. Okay, hey guys. Um, so I really thoroughly enjoyed my little excursion day. At the moment, we are quickly eating at Vicky's and then um, I'm going to my uncle's house. Very impromptu, but mm -hmm. darlings, today I am leaving Kumasi. Kind of sad, not gonna lie, but um, yeah, getting back to Accra, gonna get back to the festivities, going back to my house, leaving my auntie's house. Highlights of Kumasi were seeing my family, obviously, um, the funeral, which was just really nice to be able to give my grandmother that send off. And um, yeah, so my family were in Ntomso. Also, my aunt's restaurant, Vicky's, which is banging. 
banging also in Patasi. so yeah anyway i i'm leaving today i'll show you lot my outfit in a sec but i'm just gonna eat quickly and we're gonna go over my cousin um yeah okay so this is my outfit i'm wearing this really long dress that i got from zara you would have seen it in one of my vlogs before i didn't wear it but i bought it so yeah um we need to go there so yeah this is what i'm gonna wear and i'm gonna put on my raid sandals the black ones i think the majority of my time in ghana i've literally been barefaced which is why i haven't had that many pictures um on the gram but just gotta let the skin breathe speaking of which i haven't put spf on let's do that David and Daniel, say hi. Hi. Bye. Bye. <laughs> so this is the outside of me aunt's house. I didn't actually show it to you lot. And now I'm going. The weather's really nice. This is one of the doggos. Denzel, well leave them. There's like six of them in the house. Literally. Um, but yeah. This is the pops. Okay, so after that long ass journey, I'm back home. I'm back in my room. Back in our crab, banging. Um, just thanks be to God for the safe journey. And I'm pretty much gonna spend tonight chilling. I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna chill, I'm gonna do some editing, and then tomorrow we go again with the vibes. I don't know what the hell beans are doing on here because who the hell wants beans that's one thing i don't like when they do salad in ghana they go and put beans on it what the hell if i saw i would have told her morning now. vlog um i'm severely pissed off i'm waiting on my bolt because uba is telling me it's gonna cost 70 ghana sorry it's a 40 ghana trip don't play with me anyway i've just had a back and forth with my bolt driver because this man started the trip, but hadn't picked me up. Are you mad or would they boom or are you they crazed or something? So I've called him now and I said, boss, you haven't picked me, but you're it's saying you started the trip. I think now will baby somebody say, how do you get to me? If you hadn't said you started the trip, it will be showing you the map so you can come and collect me. Correct? Okay. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I just want to get my nails done. This nail is going to break, so I'm not prepared to carry on doing my activities with this nail as it is. So I'm trying to go and get my nails done. And it's at SMP. Honestly, I'm sick and tired. This guy's now nine minutes away. So I'm actually probably not pleased. I'm not pleased. Why are you starting the trip? What the hell? You haven't picked me up, but you're telling the system that you picked me up. Now you come to ask me, where am I? You would know that if you didn't say you had started a trip that you haven't started because it would be direct you to get to me. It's not me that's now going to come and direct you on roads that you don't know. <laughs> okay. Anyway, my outfit's cute. And I guess that's all that matters. I'll show you guys. Yeah, I'm wearing this little dress that I got from Pretty Little Thing. So yeah, the haul is on my panel. Anyway. Okay guys, so I'm about to get my nails done. I'm currently in polished. Look who oh. look who's here. <laughs> guys, this is my name Seiko. Sako de Vaco Pet. Anyway, so I'm gonna get a cute set in polished in Laboni. So I just left the nail salon in um, La Boni. I got my nails done. They look gorgeous if I do say so myself. Now I'm about to go and grab some food. So I'm going to Honey Tuckle. I really want to try the seafood, seafood fried rice. So yeah, I'm going to pick that up for me and my brother and then I'm going to head home to get it. But yeah, I stopped because the sun is here, but I'm actually going the other way. So yeah, let's go to Honey Tuckle again. Today I decided to leave the house without using any repellent because I haven't found that it's made a difference and stopping me from actually getting bitten. So yeah, so far I don't have any new mosquito bites. So like, what's the truth? Are they going to bite you whether you like it or not? Anyway, I've ordered some food. I don't want to copyright claim. So but I'm at Honeysuckle at the moment. So I just reached home and these men are playing football. 
Come and look. Come and see footballers. Yeah, come here, Sam. Oh, so this is the seafood fried rice from Honeysuckle. It looks banging. I don't know if mine is still hot, but I'll try it. There's a little lizard in my bath. Come! Yeah. There's a little lizard in my bath. Yeah. There. Oh my gosh, what am I gonna do to it? Guys, how did Donnie get in here? How did he get in here? He's not getting in that bucket, bro. What am I gonna do? They're best smart. He's not getting in that bucket. You have to make the bucket the most attractive. Yeah, inside. Huh? It's inside me. Oh, he's in the bucket. Ah! Sorry, I'm outside. The lizard is in the bucket. So How did you get him in there? In the I used the map. It's all the sparkers I've been watching. You've been Techniques. watching sparkers? Yeah, I'm going to drop it here. Okay, set him free. Go free, little lizard. Is that him? I think so. No, it's still inside. Careful. Is he holding on for dear life? Let's go to where we can see the light. Oh, yeah, come. Oh, no, let's... No, gone. Is he gone? Oh. I wonder where little Lizzie McGuire is. Have you ever had a lizard in your bath? I don't think so. I don't think so. Anyway, shout out my brother because I don't know what I would have done. What the hell? A lizard in my bath? No, there's a lizard in my bath. <clears throat> I fat man at the door. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got no cookies for you, fat man. Anyway, y'all, you'll see me when I'm ready. Okay, so I'm ready to go out. I just need to put some earrings in, and then that is me. I got to go. Hey, babes. Um, today we are going to back to cooking actually want to do some work and use their wi-fi and all that jazz so that's where we're going we're gonna have like a little brunch and then yeah get to work after it looks like it's set to rain today so we'll see hopefully it doesn't but if it does we'll be inside it's friday so hopefully we can go out tonight but yeah just come with me we're gonna go back to cooking i didn't even show you guys what i'm wearing i am wearing this little shirt and shorts and sign back at Cooken. I'm hoping that I'll be able to get some work done. We'll see how that goes. But also, I'm hungry, so I'm going to prioritize ordering food. Yeah. It's stuck in your Afro pick, which is your beard comb. Get the mask. Anyway, let's go. It's very good vibes in here. We've got Wi Fi, so we're thankfully going to be able to do some work. Probably just about like an hour ish. But I think like, that's decent time to eat first and then do work after. Nah, oh. nah. But oh, this is mushroom, but it looks like chicken, so. Huh? Yeah, that is yours, but this looks like chicken, so... So, finished up. I finally uploaded a YouTube video oh, after three weeks. Um, I haven't pushed it live yet. I'm gonna do that, like, probably when I get home, but currently just walking to pick up our food for tonight, our dinner, since we're gonna be going out. We need to have something locked and loaded, and because we're leaving town now, it'd be long to try and get food any other time, so yeah. Okay, I'm like... I don't want to say halfway through my makeup because I've just done my foundation, but we're getting ready because we're going out tonight. R.I.P. that. Hey. <laughs> um, I need to like finish my food because uh, who's trying to fall off? Not me. I am ready, ready to go. I'm about to um, head out. I'm loving my outfit right now. I need to find a way to show you guys my full fit. But anyway, I think that my face looks good. I still have this hair in and I'm dying to take it out. But yeah, I'm gonna go out. Have a good night out.
So it is 5.31 and it's time for me to go to sleep. I need to be like out the house at nine. How's that gonna work? <laughs> I need to quickly take my makeup off so that I can wake up nice and early. Good morrow. Today is a new day. Um, we are doing some sightseeing and hopefully we're gonna get to go go karting. Weather dependent, time dependent, but uh, ready to go. I've had my breakfast already. We lacked and loaded. I'm gonna show you lot what I'm wearing. I'll just flip it. Okay, so yeah, this is my outfit. But yeah, I'm wearing this one piece from Zara. Little Zara shirt and some trainers. I freshly shaved my legs, so I'm feeling funky. Like, look, so smooth. Let's be going. It's hot. so cool so up there you have a statue of Kwame Nkrumah and so this is where they buried Dr Kwame Nkrumah this is like the most beautiful grave I've ever seen so there's very much that obviously it's a bit of a protected area this is amazing it just looks like this all around it mad and this is where they buried his wife right here next to him that's what it says our mother the spirit of pan africa This is a museum and it's filled with some artifacts and books and pictures so let's go see some. But we have arrived at house party go-kart but essentially it's like an arcade as well as a go-kart space so there's games they do food etc so we're gonna drive okay so i'm back home and i'm coming down from my adrenaline high um i had so much fun go-karting i don't know why i don't do it more often I'm going to start like just randomly going go-kart in, in London because it's just great. Anyway, got some pizza from the place, House Party Go-Karts. And I'm going to eat it. I got some pizza and Coke. Feeling like real American right now. I've brought it to my to my room. You see my pizza? Pizza in Ghana is different, by the way. Nothing Italian about this pizza. But anyway, um, I just really want to chill tonight. It's raining, so I don't really want to go out. Not going to lie, but it's still hot. It's just raining, so I'm going to chill in the house, in this room, and watch some stuff. Maybe catch up on some YouTube. I can always go out tomorrow if I feel like it. So, yeah. Bye. Hi, vlog. Welcome back to the vlog. Good morning. We are on IG Live. 
um, and we're about to cut some mango. So let's cut some mango. Welcome, welcome. A bit better than bruised. When you're done with the knife, let me know. Good. 10 out of 10 mango. This mango is banging. 10 out of 10. Hey vlog, the rain has actually stopped. Wow, can you believe it? We are now gonna leave my house. I'm going to Kozo. I actually have wanted to go since I got to Ghana. So I'm a go now. I'm with my cousin. Can't see him, but yeah, shout out Kwame. I'm yeah. gonna go. And then look, this baby. Oh no. Guys, I'll tell you the story about her. <laughs> okay guys, this place is dark. <laughs> it's very dark, but I'm with Jillian again. Hi. And we are at Kozo. Um, I haven't ordered food yet, I just ordered a drink, but I should probably look at the food menu because I'm actually very hungry. We're very hungry. I don't know why every time, I say every time, but when we come for dinner, we're always starving. So, yeah, I'm excited. So this is called the Kozarita. I'm hoping it's gonna taste like a margarita blend type thing. Yeah. This look good. Yeah, really nice. And then some sushi. I've never had sushi before. I'm excited. Thank you. Anyway, we had our food, we finished our food, we're very full, very, very full, and now we're just gonna go out. So, yeah. Cheers. Big shout out to Denzel, I see you. Hey, Tell, I see you. Hey, Dre, I see you. Look, today your girl is down and out. My period came to destroy. I'm gonna go outside with my people quickly because I want to go to the pharmacy. But other than that, like it's giving home day. I don't, I can't get the dust from inside my lens, so we're just gonna have to deal with it as it is. Um, but yeah, I'm going to the pharmacy because my nail broke yesterday very brutally. Very highly disappointed because I got this set done last week and I didn't smack my hand, do anything mad to make it break. So I'm just really upset. And also, I'm upset because it really hurts. Anyway, so yeah, I am going to get plasters from the pharmacy down the road and to also speak to the hairdressers to see yeah. um, what they would what they would charge um, and if they do not know spreads so I can get prepared. So my period coming today has actually turned out to be like a blessing in disguise. I'm going to get my hair braided and washed and I just wasn't I didn't know when I was going to be able to do this so I feel like being down and out this morning I'm not down and out right now but being down and out this morning just allowed for a bit more spontaneity and my brother's having a boys day with my cousins which is good um so yeah like feeling very positive I have got some band-aids from the pharmacy <laughs> this is my nail, shall I? And I've bought some coke because that's currently my my craving. So yeah, it means that like tomorrow I'm kind of like free to do stuff, which is sick. Just ignore that the fact that my room is a state. I'm preparing to go to the salon, but I just wanted to. I know somebody's gonna come and say, oh, use oil so that you don't break your hair. I actually know, I know better than what I'm doing right now, but I need to just make sure that the ends are not tangled because I'm having my hair washed at the salon. Um, I wanna, no, I don't wanna go there and then they'll be combing my hair by hats. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So, 
just running the comb through it real quick before I go. I think I should put something in the washing machine. Oh lordy, my time almost up. Guys, my hair has grown though, like, my hair really be growing. Bless her, she's trying for me, Steve. Yeah, my hair's grown. Then I'll walk outside looking like this. Go to the salon and get it washed and braiding. Yes, me. Hey vlog, good morning. Uh, yesterday I went to go and get my hair done. I didn't check back in because uh, my period's kicking my natural black ass, so yeah. <laughs> um i am feeling a little bit better today i've got things to do so i don't have the luxury that i had yesterday to um just not to do them because i am leaving ghana tomorrow night so yeah i basically have to pattern stuff um, i really love my outfit i'm wearing jeans today it's the first time i've worn jeans in ghana i'm wearing jeans with this um scarf that i bought from zara i've done this little can you see it? I don't know, I've been sort of knocking with my hair. But I'm just really enjoying, I'm enjoying my hair. I didn't feel myself yesterday just cause, yeah, but I'll show you. So, this is me. It's not too, too bright, but um, yeah, the hair's nice and long. Some cute, knotless braids. I need to go and get my PCR for my return home. So that's what I'm going to do. Bye. Hey you guys, so I have arrived at the airport clinic. I'm coming to get my COVID test to return back to that godforsaken country, England. Um, Chile is hot, you know. <laughs> the sun is beating down on me. But yeah, I am here. Got to sit under this tent and wait. It's giving, it's gonna take a long time. Okay, so we got our COVID test done. It should take about um, up to four hours. So we're currently arrived at the art centre. So we're going into the art centre now. We're currently in art centre. Um, I will show you where you lot should come if you come inside. Because I got some family over here, but I really want to get this dress. But I want it slightly longer. Very peg. That like, very, very peg. If I get it, I'll be extremely happy. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Oh, guys, it's my last day in Ghana. I'm so sad. I'm leaving Ghana tonight. Um, I just basically got up and got ready. The lights and stuff just came back on. Had like a very brief blackout, lights out period. Um, so yeah, essentially I'm very, very, very annoyed because the airport messed up my COVID test by giving my results to my brother. So I can't validate my results. So I'm going there today to get my hard copy ahead of my flight which is just really really annoying because it's actually as simple as emailing me and they didn't how can you email somebody else my test results i'm certain this is illegal to share my medical information with someone other than myself when i haven't consented so anyway i'm gonna have to get my karen on when i get there because what the actual hell um i basically almost finished packing yesterday yeah i need to go now so let's go um sadly the trip has come to an end but let me tell you the hassle at the airport has just begun it's a lot of hustle and bustle if you've ever been to kotoka you will know exactly what i'm talking about i probably think you guys can't hear me under the mask nonetheless we are waiting now to check in our bags and check in because you can't check in online yeah. anyway have a fantastic time um i'll talk about it on instagram but i hope you guys enjoyed the ghana vlogs bye